Goat side, your prime minister fire your goat. Yeah, yeah, what I said, dirty Warmington. Go outside Clifford Everett Warmington. Your prime minister fire your goat side. Ooh. Goat side, your prime minister fire your goat. Yeah, yeah, what I said, dirty Warmington. Go outside Clifford Everett Warmington. Your prime minister fire your goat side. Who is you about here coming out house ready for countries? The man fire what day you couldn't even talk here if you remember last week when the pa he fired me. He fired me. If in the pan, I was fired. I never resigned. I was fired. I know you come ready for in an argument. But we want you to notice something, Jamaica. You realize that the speaker was missing in action. <laughs> When I realize the speaker looked like she see the part of the speech and she never wanted that part of the speech mentioned. And the speaker just come out. Was the speaker even in the parliament today? The speaker has a very poor history of being in parliament. She's only in parliament when she needs to serve the interest of the government. But I want to ask you something. In any corporate entity, I want to be reasonable with me now. I ask on yourself. In any business where corporate people own, private sector own, you think husband and wife, and wife can't enter the business in a management position, sir? Most times they say you must declare if you have any family member in the in the, or any relationship to any family member in the business and if it is so they discourage it and they don't normally hire such family member so then in the parliament the head of the government are andrew Oles and the head of the parliament are juliet Oles. nothing can go sir it's a major conflict of interest and over the past few months, Juliet Holness, we have seen you shown your hands, whereby the issues such as the illicit six can't come off your desk. We don't know where you put it. We don't know where you put it, you know, Juliet. We don't know where you put it. It's like you dig it up and hide it up and put it somewhere that nobody can find. And it's like nobody can question you. But today I'm glad that Mark Golding stood his ground. Today I'm glad to see that Mark Golding stood his ground. But you know the funny part of it? You know the funny part of it, Jamaica? Mark Golding never said anything out of the norm that would have usurped the government to take such a position. For the government to get up and say, them are walk out courtly. It looked like they looked at the rest of the presentation. And they never wanted Mark Golding to finish the presentation. What are you talking about? When I looked in the budget the presentation, Mark Golding was going to touch on him and him de the declaration of his assets. The assets when can declare, you know, says almost three years now, Andrew Olin's don't declare the asset. I you remember we are saying only two years. June come make three years. No assets declared. And he's able to govern and he's able to run this country with him and his wife. Him and his wife assets have not been declared. June this year make two and a, two, three years. And you're going to tell me that we sit on in this country as business as usual. And they have become rich off the back of poor people. Remember, say Andrew Wallace said was three and cloning. You know? Remember Andrew Wallace did have one little piece of when you what is something never again? Taxi company and the taxi company never never, never did a go and good enough and see I got take him up and put him in my face, you know. And all of a sudden Andrew Wallace just turned big billionaire and won them wall for something here and nobody must question it. Nobody must talk about it. And when you talk about it and talk about the first of all, the marriage not happy. First of all, the marriage not happy. Me can't talk from experience. The marriage not happy. The marriage not united. 
is a political marriage. You hear what I said, Jamaica? It's a political marriage. Them don't even sleep in the same bed. It's not like me telling Courtney. It's a political marriage. Them don't even, I don't think them even have been. I years now. Years now, I don't think them rendezvous. You never remember what day when him kiss her past him the past stage and she kiss him and him wipe off the kiss. Because them not in any formal lovey dovey is a political sham. It's a major political sham. So why you catch your imagine? You're gonna say this now. So I want to ask one of this. <laughs> imagine him catching feelings so today for the so-called wife. Where would I catch for the native? <laughs> hey! I want to ask again. Imagine him catch today feelings and walk out of parliament. For the wife. Imagine if they did call me a name. And the mate is sitting in the parliament. Lord Jesus. It's the truth. It's the first contract. It's so much chaos and baga baga at Nina. It's when I call me so far early. Hello, good night. Andre. Yes. If you go doing DNA test for him, I know who one is in my bram well. What you say, lady? He man I know who one is in last name. It's not who one is. What do you mean by me not who one is? Him, a bram well in that name, Gerald Bramwell. <laughs> Blood. Tande. We are there, we are there, we are there. So you yeah, say. Me I tell you, no who one is to have gray eye. No who one is to have big nose. The bram well have had gray eye and big nose for them are Irish. I tell you. So you yeah, say, we, we are the lady, can you come in like you want, come, come, and it's at, at, at topic. So you yeah, say, the father, where he have no him father? And I'm papa. So you yeah, say, the mama give the papa jacket? That's my father, and his daddy. Oh, you know that. You come from St. Elizabeth? Me know, me know. His daddy me Bramwell. Bramwell, so the name Andrew Owen is Andrew Bramwell. The man who wants to see my Bramwell should go doing DNA test. He's daddy dead and gone. I mean, brother, I mean, what's part of brother there? Lord, so yes, yeah, so, so yes, yeah, so the Prime Minister jacket? A jacket, me a take you, say me a take Hey, Leo, where you get this a mix up from? You hear me say, man, I don't know who wants to see my Bramwell. And where this a mix up come from? Lord. All right, all right, you were here again. Man, I know who one is. No, who one is. I know Gria was. All right, look, so yes, I must go to a DNA with him, father. Yes, he need to go and do a DNA test. He's not who one is. Blood, I force me a year. That's that why his father banned him, so I know who one is. Oh. oh, that's why the father had to kill him. him. Your Lady, we that's why the father not take your rhyme with all of these years. You hear me say, I'm a Juanis, I'm a Bramwell. <laughs> Lord Jesus, this is a sweet, sweet bangara. What can come, Mr. Juanis? Yeah, come, Mr. Juanis, no sign of him picking it. He know that. <laughs> what a bangarang. So, 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 other people are sent to Elizabeth, know this? Everybody knows Saint Elizabeth. In that in grandfather come from Nile Gully, Bramwell. Oh, Hubert Bramwell and grandfather. Hubert Bramwell. And his daddy named Gerald Bramwell. <laughs> Gerald Bramwell. See if you can find a picture, send me. Gerald Bramwell dead and gone. He the inspector Black River. Oh, his father was a police. Big time police officer, Black River Police Station. Big time superintendent, a police. Oh. Go pan your look for Gerald Bramwell, and then you will see who one is. Ah, uh, Gerald Bramwell. We need to go. No, who one is? I don't agree. I have big nose. Oh, so you say in fact? Okay, we are gonna look into it. That the one that yes, sounds like the one. Gerald to... Bramwell. He was the inspector at Black River Police Station. Big police man down there. So was it a rumor or was it a fact down there? It's not, it's not a rumor, facts. 
So how many of you nobody talk this. about this yet? Oh, the, uh, you were so here the secret. They might come out little by little. <laughs> well, if you can't get father, you yeah, the father. No, send a free in bikini. <laughs> all right. All right, my love. That one there hot, bad, bad, bad. Hmm. See, Miss Winnie, I'm going to call me now. Yes, Miss Sweeney, what you saying now? No, I'm not saying whenever you speak in anyone tell you anything, say allegedly, yeah? Okay. Because you know, so, okay, okay, bye. All right, Miss Sweeney, me think you're not going to talk about Mark Golding. Hello, good night. Good night, um, Andre. Yes, sir, good night. Um, but Jamaican government, the House of Parliament, now becomes one... Crapper, crapper now, eh? Yes, one bagger, bagger. One big bagger, bagger. I, I have never seen this. I'm, I am 64 years of age. 64? Mm -hmm. Yes, and, I, and, I've, and I've been around a while. Yes. Michael Mann will come right down. Yes. Even, even when Sangster was prime minister. Mm. And I've never seen this thing taking place in the House of Parliament before. Oh. Until I grow until Andrew Wallace becomes government. Oh. This is this is this is embarrassment to Jamaicans. Total, total embarrassment. And, oh. I, and I don't think I don't think as Jamaicans we should just sit by and allow this to continue. I think we need to now start to demonstrate for an early election. Well, just get we yourself prepared for the election. When I need it early, we'll just make him make him do him look a time. Uh, I know much time. About eight months left him of in us, sir. Make him go to the run out of the eight months, no? I, 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 um, eight months, you know what you know within eight months? Sir, uh, the uh, PNP uh, have a little bit more work to get done. Nobody asked for no election yet. Wait till the eight months run out and on prepare yourself the right way. I don't know. I'm nervous about I'm nervous about this government, honestly. All right, honestly, you're nervous. Yes, about this government, I'm very nervous about them. Oh, Maybe no matter nervous. Why worry when you can pray? By the time the election comes around, um, there won't be any funds in the in, in, in the coffers to, to, to do anything in Jamaica. Mm. Yeah. All right, no problem. All right, have a good night, eh? Mm, bless you. <laughs> but the truth is, Jamaica... And I wanted to tell you the call, the call the, the the views expressed by the callers are not the view the, 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 the views of Andre Stevens. Just making that absolutely clear. Cause nobody now put me in a bangarang. All right. But as I was saying, Jamaica, as I was saying, and I want to make it clear, right? That we are yet to see the assets being declared of your prime minister. I will not declare him my prime minister. I'll declare him the prime minister of Jamaica. You heard what I said? We're yet to see the assets of your prime minister declared. We're yet to see a separation of power because it's a conflict of interest when you have two Wife and husband, even though it's a political marriage, running the country. It's not right. It can't be right. Because you would have never seen a Christopher Zaka and a Mrs. Zaka around Sajikor. You would have never seen Michael Leachin and Mrs. Leachin. I run NCB, I line here, tell. You would have never seen um, the lady at Scotia Bank and her husband in the same business. So why no one take the worst practices? Which other country in the world you ever see? Which other country in the world have you ever seen? Wife and husband are own business, sir. So. Country at that. Which other country has seen that happen? And it's like, but you see what I blame the opposition for. You remember Jamaica? Everybody know me and Mark Golding's biggest critique. And I will remain his biggest critique because 
You see, the criticisms them are making him stronger. I would agree. Last year, September, the whole lot didn't know sick. Me never really debout, right? When Juliet Oldness was named Speaker of the House, the opposition should have formally challenged it. You hear what I say? Last year, September wasn't around. So them sneaking Juliet Oldness in at a time they become Speaker of the House. My point is, Mark Golding right there and then Jamaica should have said him not agree to Juliet Holness being speaker of the house. Tell me if it's like. Don't it, Jamaica? The opposition should have been on record from the time she has been sworn in as speaker of the house. And they should have been blatantly, categorically, emphatically stated that they don't agree with Juliet Holness being Speaker of the House. But, on a make, how much months now? September, October, November, December, January, February, March. How much months that? Almost seven months she in the position for only just a real concern about it. So my question is to you tonight. I'm saying, and people will agree with me tonight, that one thing that is sure that must go on is consistency in governance. The very day Juliet Holness was carried into the house as speaker the opposition should have voiced their concerns let me hear what this caller has to say good night caller uh -huh. hello you you're not busy to talk about the, the opposition this and the opposition that for when you take attack anything where the the the, the, the prime minister come in a parliament and do in a parliament all when the opposition not agree with it then party stay away and do what they like stay away with it yeah you, you understand, understand that caller but what i am saying is that what mark golden should have done from then was highlight that he opposes it you understand so that we can talk about it all the time we well, talk about only things all the time and nothing done better is there anything better well, it's the first time in the parliament he comes on record speaking about the Speaker of the House and the nepotism. Okay. The first time. What I am right saying, what I am saying, you caller. Have right to huh? You have a right to talk. Yeah, but what I am saying, he should have spoken about it from last year, September. Yeah. And I think we talked about it last year of September. You believe that it's something with different? It wouldn't be different, but at least in Kansas City, here, oh, I prove okay. my point. It could have, no difference, Andrea, you it could have seen proving point, Carla. I said, see there, she had a whole lamp on the document then. She had do this to the parliamentary committee. She had do that, she had do that, she had do that. But there has been nothing on record. Okay. Before okay. now in that he's you know, opposing in it. Today, in doing today, and you see what's happened. Mm -hmm. What you believe that we have got different thing we do it long time ago, Andre? They would have walked different. out from then and the he parliament mash up. He could have mash up the parliament from then. No. Mm. You don't, you don't, you don't, you're not, you're, you're not talking straight. All right, if I'm not talking straight, no problem, Carla. Thank you for calling. Bless you. What I am saying, Jamaica, I don't have to agree with me, you know. Only don't have to agree with me. But my point is, Mark Golding did the right thing today, Jamaica. He could have done it from last year, September. That's my point I'm making. He could have called a press conference. The opposition should have made them point clear from then. Yes, Mr. Marsh. Yes, good night, Andre. Good yes. night. I what 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 actually happened is this. Mm -hmm. I I was one of those persons. 
yes, believe Mr. Mm. that um, Mrs. Holness would be an honest person in Parliament and she would run the, 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 the Parliament better. Yes. I believe so. And I think the opposition trusts her. But now they realize that she's not who they think she was. Why for us, Bank Yarum, nothing? So the opposition couldn't trust her then, Mr. Ma Mr. Marsh? Well, I, I, I will have to agree. But what would have happened if she, if she, if she, you know, thought to be the right way? But she does, so it does, you know, everything that I'm supposed to say now, the woman, she not better than that reason. She not better than nobody in the parliament. You know what I'm going to call for tonight, Mr. Marsh? I go and call for the PNP boycott Parliament Thursday. Boycott the Parliament you know, Thursday. Me not to make him yeah. present and me never get for not present. No, no, they shouldn't go. They if should they not go. go. No, if they leave with no. Listen, Andre. Yes. I think they can go and register and when he gets up to speak, they walk out. Oh, yes, but they're not supposed to sit down in a no parliament. No, we shouldn't listen to him because... Listen to him me. Not have no respect, Mr. Marsh. No, and we know some are coming with the mouth full of lies. Then you have one half with Panas Central Clarendon. Mm. Come, and I try to justify it. He must know some money way out. Based on the local government election. Yes. He can't see money way out. Yes. That's how your friend, Paul Panas Central. You know, come in and keep Aji Party. So now come tell me, say, my friend. You say, I mix up. <laughs> you see me, I keep Aji Party down a Moko. <laughs> Don't yes, come mix well, me up. You see, you see one magic, one magic. Come yeah. back in the parliament to try to take on people. Get outside, outside.